Yo guys, welcome to my new channel. My name is Bagret and in this channel I'm gonna tell you about life in Russia, uh, how to live, how to survive here as well. My main channel is Armenian Pie. Go there if you're a Russian speaker to subscribe there. And this was really unexpected. Yes, this was unexpected, but yeah, let's move on and let's start the vlog. And hi again, what's up guys? I don't know how to make more things more comfortable and to tell you about more of the life here in Russia. And I decided like, should I talk about um, how much is the coffee, how much is the business launches here, how much is the car and how to care about the cars, the, the services, the fuel, uh, how much expenses you're gonna uh, spend for a car, uh, how rent an apartment and to buy clothes for example. So let's move it. And one as well thing, today I was at work and most of people don't doesn't know actually maybe most of the international people doesn't know in russia they celebrate the defender of fatherland day so it's like for people who uh served in uh, <coughs> army and the girls and women has to give some presents i got the um, mug which is like you know you put uh, hot water and it changes color and some dark chocolate You know, it's not say like they're giving some expensive things to give you as a present But it's still paying attention and preparing some gifts for you for this not special day Yeah So let's go Currently we arrived to the shopping mall and now I would like to show you the approximate prices in the stores for clothes and uh, as I told you we are not going to uh, watch some fancy uh, lu uh, luxury stores such as Gucci, Louis Vuitton and etc. Just want to show you like ancient them store and compare prices with the US. Let's go. The um, security came and just told me that I cannot shoot with uh, my Canon ESR. I, I can shoot in a uh, shopping mall, but however, only on my phone because there's only there's it's restricted to record on my camera because it counts as a professional camera. And I asked why, and they told me like um, I asked because it has a like a microphone on it and it, they said yeah because it has a microphone and I understand what camera is it and I know it's like a professional one so as I told you now uh, we're in a shopping mall and just want to show you that how people dress and what they pe what people buy actually simple H and M and the, like prices as well how much is in Russia and I know approximately how much it co does it cost in the US. So I'm currently now in the H&M store and just want to show you the compare like if in US store as I know like there's like t-shirt or a hoodie it's like approximately $15 and just want to show you that approximate ho hoodie prices is like $30 for uh, just for a yellow, sh uh, yellow hoodie. I don't know is it like expensive or not but Comparing to yes, like fifteen dollars, yes, maybe here's much more expensive. So uh, comparing like a T-shirt, like oh, there's a T-shirt with a Patrick and X uh, SpongeBob. It's cost like 20, 25 bucks. Like Hitchin then became more popular, and they like producing um, some interesting stuff. But the prices is same as. Uh, no, I, w I wouldn't say like. It could, H&M is cheap store, but to buy some cool stuff like with a SpongeBob or a Patrick, yes, it's fine. So 
What about food? All the life process can be undone, so we're gonna look at how much you're gonna spend in supermarket for groceries per week or per month for average working person. What's up guys, now I'm currently arrived at one of the supermarkets in Russia and just want to compare the prices of the food and groceries you're gonna spend it per week, per month uh, leave, a uh, leave a comment down below what's your prices in wherever you are living in Europe, in US just wanna see really how much you spend per week or per month so let's go check out the store and see if they will allow me to record as well So I'm currently in the store and actually I was sneaking here and, and successfully like record something and just can you can tell you some approximate prices here. So we're now in we're in section of chocolates. I could tell that for example MMs 240 grams approximately three dollars here and here is the massive the Kinder Surprise chocolate, which is cost like 20 bucks, almost 20 bucks, as as I know, uh, like in US you cannot find Kinder Surprise because it was abandoned. I don't know why. If you know, please comment down below. Tell me why. So we currently now left the store, and I could tell you, per week you can gonna spend. In Russia, approximately 70 to 100 bucks. Depends which products you're buying. If you want to go fancy, buying fish or steaks, yes, it's gonna be cost expensive. But however, like if you're average working person, just want to not to say survive, but uh, eat healthy and. But anyway, uh, if you're not that silly person who wants to spend a lot of money on food is gonna be enough 70 or even 60 bucks if you're for a lot, one person average person who, whose salary is approximately 600 bucks is gonna be fine So guys, talking about the rent an apartment in Russia um, Behind me is the typical house here and typical building, I mean Like, first of all I have to tell you what's the salary in Russia The minimum average salary is 500 to 600 dollars To rent an apartment per month if you're not just a room, I mean apartment, one room apartment is 300 bucks, 300 bucks. So let's count. If you're, uh, if you're earning 500 bucks and spending 300 bucks on just on an apartment, so you have only 200 bucks left. If you left, if you have just 200 bucks left, uh, you have to spend for food, for transport, for, I don't know, clothes, parties sometimes, I don't know, going out with a friend. It's not enough. I mean, 200 bucks left just for food and etc. is so little. So, what people do? Most people do for uh, going for two jobs or doing freelance. Freelance, just for uh, copywriting, I mean, uh, also writing um, documents for people like from English to Russian or from Russian to English. And they take per hour, they earn like approximately um, ten dollars per hour so imagine if you're working eight hours at uh, a typical job and then coming back to working two hours 20 bucks it's 
so you just count. I want to say thank you for watching my vlog, first vlog, and I hope you found it interesting about the life in Russia, and I'm gonna go through a lot about life in, life in here, and please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment what you would like to hear, what you would like to, me to tell you to know, and I hope you subscribe and we'll keep going about the story of life here take care guys thank you bye bye